How do you survive the worst day of your life? September 11, 2001, now forever known as 9-11, 15 years ago. On that morning, our son Todd and 39 other free people got on board United Flight 93. They all had plans. Some were going to work, some were going back to school, some were returning from vacation. Four Islamic terrorists got on the same plane. They too had a plan. We frankly thought that Todd and Lisa were in Italy. Uh, they got back from Italy on the 10th. I, I thought they were coming back later in the week. He got up that morning to go to work. He had an important meeting in California with Oracle's. He worked for Oracle. Their headquarters are just south of San Francisco Airport. So he got up early to take the plane ride. He'd, his plan was to take the red eye back to Newark that night. His, he planned to have breakfast with his little boys and wife uh, Wednesday morning. Right? Had no idea, no idea. Didn't even know he was in the country. No. Todd's a great guy. He, he went to Wheaton College, right? P played baseball. Got an MBA from uh, DePaul in Chicago. He was a uh, he was a great dad, good husband, right? He was fun to be around. Now, on that morning, there were a number of blessings. Number one, United Flight 93 took off 20 minutes late, which disrupted the timing of this well-considered plan by these forces of evil, in that the passenger and crew became aware that this is not a normal hijacking. Two planes have already crashed into the World Trade Center. We think we're probably the next guided missile. It would only have taken at jet speed, 20 more minutes from where the plane was to hit the Capitol. They got together, they formulated a plan, and they decided to fight back. Another blessing is that our son Todd had the opportunity for a several minute conversation with Lisa Jefferson, a GTE telephone operator, where he had the opportunity to describe the situation, had an opportunity to pray, and then we now know because of this independent ear witness that Todd's last words were, are you guys ready? Let's roll. Which we believe, indeed, was the signal to launch this successful counterattack. It ended in that quiet meadow in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Nobody on the ground lost their life. And of course, our nation's capital is still intact. Todd didn't plan to meet God that morning, but he did, and he was ready. He was a Christian on the day before. So he was ready on the day of. I think about him every day, every day. And I miss him, you know. Uh, uh, in, the, in the days and months, you know, uh, after 9-11, Lisa was a great example of a uh, beautiful Christian mother, happened to be pregnant. And she recorded uh, a lot of testimony and life experiences. Uh, in a book titled, Let's Roll. As we live our lives and we have really self-responsibility and the free will that God has given all of us, uh, we can have hope in the truth of His Word. And what His Word says is, the life on earth is short, doesn't last very long, but eternal life is just that. And eternal life in heaven with the glories of God, and there's a hope for that. Therein you can have hope, no matter what trials, circumstances, tragedies, that's where hope resides. It's free. If your worst day is, is, is your last day, if you're ready, then it's okay, you know. Todd Beamer's having a great day today. So we know, and we have that hope and confidence that Todd's soul is with his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's how we can survive the worst day of our life, is with that hope and assurance.